Hello and welcome to Friday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic and the return to the channel of one of our very favourite setters, Mr. Menace um, and his puzzle, Vice Versa. That is what we've got in store for, for today. Uh, the testers, um, well, second tester has only just solved this one and said it's absolutely brilliant. First tester loved it as well. So this is what we're going to have a go at. And if you, if you love jumping into the puzzles, if you don't want to hear the birthdays, I mean... You, you do want to hear the birthdays, really, though, don't you? Uh, if you want to just jump into the puzzle, it is a region some line puzzle. That is that is all the rules. Um, so, yeah, this is probably my favourite of the new rule sets as well. I, I love fog of war puzzles, full stop. Um, but that's sort of an innovation around actual, you know, the the graphics of the grid. In terms of the 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 new variant Sudoku rules that we've seen. They're coming thick and fast over the last months and years. Region some lines, I think, is such a beautiful idea. It's, it's a very simple idea. On along each line, each line segment in a different three by three box has to have the same total. So each of those different coloured areas has to contain digits that add up to the same number. You don't know what that number is. You have to work it out. But uh, that's that's entirely the extent of the rules. Really, really cool. Um, anyway. Anyway, we'll get we'll get to the puzzle in a moment or two's time. I've got a few things to mention before we kick off. Um, there is a crossword video. It came out a bit late today. I had to play golf this morning, um, relatively successfully for once. Um, anyway, so, so the crossword video came out late, and part of the reason it came out late was it was vicious, absolutely vicious. So if you like watching, um, or especially if you like watching me struggle with puzzles check out that video. Um, the Times Crossword today was a true beast. Um, other things to mention, over on Patreon, we've got this trick or treat um, Sudoku hunt from the Skunk Works that, I mean, the, the feedback we're getting on this has just been absolutely delightful. So well done to the Skunk Works for pitching the difficulty level exactly correctly, I think. And well done to all of you, especially those of you for whom this was your first um, Sudoku hunt experience and for getting through it. Absolutely great stuff. Um, the book, if you want a copy of our book, you really do need to get uh, to tell us like, I mean, it's, it's today or tomorrow, frankly, we're trying to finalize the numbers for the print run. Um, I have been busy recording poetry readings. <laughs> I've, I've actually really enjoyed it. Um, I even did Captain Beaky yesterday. So uh, those of you who've supported the book, <laughs> that video will come out at some point soon. Um, and then what else? Uh, oh, Line Sudoku, our new app, it's out. Line, and in fact, it features Line Sudokus by none other than Mr. Menace, among others. So if you if you enjoy today's puzzle, you know where to find more of them. Um, Line Sudoku is out on, well, Android, Apple, and of course on Steam as well. Um, now let's do some birthdays. I'm going to start off with a literal birthday. I'm going to say happy birthday to Amelia, who was born on Wednesday this week uh, at 1024, which, and I rather love this um, because Dad Richard uh, was delighted that uh, his second daughter was, was born at 1024 because he, he then explained to his wife that this was the least prime number imaginable, <laughs> 1024. <laughs> Which is such a, I mean, that is a cracking the cryptic sentence, Richard. Um, and many congrats to you and your wife on the birth of Amelia. I'm delighted to hear that everyone's home and doing so well. Um, and now, yeah, in fact, there's another birthday I'm going to announce to Danny. Mazel tov, Danny, on the arrival of your new baby boy. And I know about this because your friend Ziki, I think it's Ziki. It could be Ziki or Ziki, actually. I'm not sure. Um wrote to us and said that you watched the channel and she knows about uh, about the birth uh, and the two of you met on a work trip to Cyprus where on a bus you realized that the two of you both watched Cracking the Cryptic. Well we get everywhere, we get everywhere, I'm not surprised but Danny many many congratulations. And next to one of our younger viewers Adam. Adam you've turned eight today. Many congratulations from your aunt Amy who is your godmother and now I have to, I have a, uh, yeah, I have to, I have to say that your Aunt Amy was a bit mean to me, though, because she explained that you're getting three cakes, an ice cream cake today, cupcakes with your baseball team on Saturday, and a treasure cake. This is the one I really resent. This treasure cake on Monday uh, for your party. 
and Aunt Amy sent me a picture. Well, in fact, it was a video all about this treasure cake. And well, let me tell you, Adam, I am very je jealous. Um, I don't have to hope you get chocolate cake for your birthday. I know exactly what you're getting and you're, you're a lucky lad indeed. So many happy returns. Um, also to another Adam, I'm going to say happy birthday. Um, this is an older Adam and your younger brother, Ben, wrote to us and said that you watch the channel now and you'd appreciate a shout out. The younger brother Ben actually had a puzzle uh, published on the channel, Chinese Takeaway, uh, a few months ago. Um, and uh, well, Adam, we're delighted you've joined the CTC fold and happy birthday, my friend. And then finally to Malou, who's turned 25 today. And I know this because your boyfriend Patrick wrote to us. Um, and thank you, Malou, for trying to get Patrick involved in the channel. Apparently, Patrick says he's not mathematical enough uh, to fully appreciate it, but he does like the words that we do. Well, well, yeah, today's crossword video has got a lot of words in it, including many words that I was not familiar with. Um, but anyway, happy birthday, Malou, and I hope you have a great day. And that's all the news. So why don't we get cracking with the puzzle? Vice versa by Mr. Menace. Uh, I've sort of told you the rules. Um, I, I'm not going to go through them again because, I mean, it is as simple as that. We have to make sure, you know, for example, on this line, those digits, it's just one cell there and those cells. So these two, whatever they are, they add up to the same as those three add up to the same as that one. So it's, it's that simple. The lines can have different values so if these added up to 20 no I can't add up to 20 with that being a single if these added up to nine this the dom you know that domino could add up to 10 or anything else they don't have to all have the same value um that's all the rules do have a go at the puzzle the way to play is to click the link under the video as usual but now I get to play let's get cracking we get one given digit thank you Mr Menace um now, a good tactic for region sum lines puzzles is to find lines where there is a big discrepancy between the lengths of the lines in different boxes. I mean, this is, I suppose, that one, why don't we start with this, this digit here? You can see this is a, a line of segment of length one in box eight. That has to sum to three, the, the sum of those three cells in box five. Well, the minimum we could put into those three cells would be a one, two, three, triple. So this must be at least a six because one, two, and three add up to six. Now that one is, that's five, five versus three. So the triangular number for five is 15. So they're a minimum of 15, but they could be up to a maximum of 24. Oh no, they couldn't be 24. They could only be 23 with six, eight, nine. So, okay, that's not great. There's quite a lot of degrees of freedom on this line. So we're going to ignore it. Naughty R-shaped line uh, in a mirror. Um, it's not in a mirror. Can't even, can't even get my, the, the way my letters work. That's an R-shape in a mirror sort of thing. Well, actually, what's going on on this line? We've got a domino, a domino, and a four cell streak in box two. So the minimum sum of those cells is 10, one plus two plus three plus four, but the maximum of these is 17. That's not it either, is it? There's going to be something, I think, more, more simple than anything I've found so far. Four versus, four versus five. Again, very equal line there. What about, what about this strange shaped line? That's another four cell sequence versus a domino, a domino, and a triomino. Oh, sorry, I'm not. I'm not getting looking in the right place here. Um, it sounds like there's some sort of emergency vehicle flying, flying along the road. I've not heard Maverick yet today. No doubt it will only be a moment or two before Maverick appears. I'm now wondering if it's something else, something completely different. All of those cells. Well, what if those says box five is totally covered by line? I'm noticing. In fact, box eight is also totally covered by line. I'm wondering if we can do something with the secret. Um, the secret, of course, is something I only tell my very favourite people. And of course, if you're watching the video nearly ten minutes in, you certainly deserve that accolade, uh, if if it can be described as such. Um, 
And the secret is that any complete box of a Sudoku, indeed any complete row, any complete column, must sum up to 45 because it must contain the digits 1 to 9 once each. So I know those digits sum to 45 and therefore I'm just going to highlight those for a second. What does that mean? So if we if we try and populate this some other way, how would we do that? Those, 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 for example. So we know that those green cells add up to 45, but we could switch some of these around. We could we could put that one in instead. We know those green cells sum up to 45. Oof. I don't like that very much I have to say I don't I don't think that was a very good idea let's try the same with box 8 um, so those four cells add up to the same as those four cells sorry and um, there's there's some trick here that I am not seeing at all I'm a bit nonplussed by this. Um, maybe it's more to do with. Okay, well let's 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 not do one line. Let's do two lines then, because I'm noticing that there are a lot. There's a lot of real estate in box two that's attributable to only those four cells. Yeah, I mean the triangular number for 7 is 28, isn't it? So these cells add up to 28 at least, but they can't... Okay, we're closer here. These cells can't add up to more... These cells here can't add up to more than 30 because the maximum they could be would be 6, 7, 8, 9. Um, and if these were 6, 7, 8, 9, then these would add up to 30. And these would add up to 15 by the secret. So, right, so this is 20. So the sum of these four digits is 28, 29, or 30. And the sum of these two digits is therefore 17, 16, or 15. That feels like it's... So, if we had 17 here... No, the thing is you can spread out these totals in different ways. Um, at, least, at least there is a restriction. I haven't quite understood how it works, but we've got 28 minimum for these, but maximum of 30. See. Um, and these are 17, 16 or 15. Sorry, I'm still not there, am I? This Maybe it's maybe it's this line again then, this sort of Y-shaped line that's been knocked over. It we know that if this was very low, that would be a one, two, three, triple. Does that? No, see, if in a way that fits quite nicely with the story that these four cells have got to be high numbers. Ah. Yeah, OK, here's, here's a sw small point. Those four cells have to contain eight and nine, I think, when I just did that in my head. Yeah, if they were nine, seven, six, five, that only adds up to 27. So we definitely have to have 8 and 9 in these, well, in those squares. The, mm, the question seems to be around, do, is there a 7 in these squares? That would put a 7 in one of those and a 7 down here. Oh dear, oh dear, I still don't understand. <laughs> It could be that the 
these add up to 30, these would add up to 15. That's, no, that is possible. I suddenly thought that might not be possible in this box. Oh, hang on, if that's, no, that's not possible, is it? Oh, I'm, I'm losing, losing my mind here. Hang on a minute. What I was thinking is, if these, if these add up to, if these add up to 30, these by the secret add up to 15 and there are five cells there. So they're one, two, three, four, and five. Now, unless I'm mistaken, the sum of those digits in this box is the sum of those cells. But if they're adding up to 15, they would also have to be 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And that's not possible because of this cell. That must be at least a 6. So this is at least a 10 plus 6 is 16. So you can't make this add up to 15, I don't think. So this is not, this is not 30. It's either 28 or 29. So if it's 29, then, then it's very restricted because this has to be 16 and this has to be 16. So this would have to be one, two, three, four. That would have to be six. I think that works though. I'm not, I'm not certain and there might there might be a rinky dink as to why that doesn't work but when I just did it in my head making that six makes that one two three it makes this four six which adds up to ten and that is the total of that what that would be because that would be a one two three four quadruple that's very very annoying <laughs> um eight. 29, 16, 29. Ah, no, okay, that doesn't work. Right, that doesn't work. That's weird though. Okay, we can't do that. So I now know these do add up to 28. Right, let me explain why. If, if these added up to 29, let me just make those green for a moment. Oh, that's a horrible color. Um, let's make those. Uh, sorry, I've picked all the wrong colors here. Don't. Let's make those gray. If these added up to 29, then we know these add up to 16, which means we know these add up to 16. But that means these squares in box eight have to add up to 29. But that's not gonna work because now those five cells in column five, four, four, sorry, have to be selected. There's only one way to make 29 in four different Sudoku numbers, five, seven, eight, nine. So these squares would be a five, seven, eight, nine quintuple. Now the concept of a five, seven, eight, nine quintuple is so ludicrous. It's like a re-debigulator in The Simpsons. It's simply, uh, I mean, it's mind blowing. It, and, and it would involve a repeated digit and it would break the puzzle. So you can't do redebigulators in column four by having five, seven, eight, nine. You have to not do that. So what that means is this must be 28, which means these add up to 17, which means these add up to 17, which means these add up to 20. Yeah, okay, so what I'm, what I'm now realizing is that there is an equivalence between these four cells and these four cells which in effect means whatever combination we use to make up these four cells in box five has to be a different combination to the way we make up the 28 total in box eight. Now, how many ways are there of making 28 in four cells? Is it just two? We worked out that, yeah, it is just two because we worked out we had to have nine and eight in the string. So it's nine, eight, and then 11 more, which can't be then two, nine, or three, eight. So it's nine, eight, plus either five, six, or four, seven. Now, now that means, okay, so this is, this is suddenly, oh, this is, 
oh this is huge okay so now because I know this adds up to 28 and must have an 8 or a 9 in, in, in the tetromino. That square has become a 6 or a 7, which means that this arrow, not, it's not an arrow, but that line segment adds up to 6 or 7. So that's either 1, 2, 3 or 1, 2, 4, but it definitely has 1 and 2 on it. But also, <laughs> this line segment now, that's got to have 9 and 8 on it. Because if that's, well, this is 28, which means that quadruple there is also 28. And we've worked out we have to have 8s and 9s when we're adding up to 28. So, now, do these have to be, I'm wondering now, because we worked out these have to be different. In fact, we, we need different colours for this. Uh, I'll make those blue. Um, because we have, whatever the constituents are of blue, they are different from grey. Now, I'm wondering if we can prove that that's got to be blue then. If it was grey, obviously these would all be the grey, well, those would be the same as those. Oh, and another thing I, I, I noticed as I was putting in this 8, 9, you can't, um, well, actually, hang on. So it feels like there's a lot of 8, 9 itch, doesn't it, in this? in this column actually i'm not sure i can do anything with that if if eight and nine in gray were both in column four this would be an eight nine pair and eight and nine would be in those squares Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know if I can do that or not. Well, we know what yellow is now, don't we? Yeah, because yeah, yeah, yellow, <laughs> yellow is also twenty-eight. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. So what are those two squares? Yeah, it's it's all about the maths in the central three columns. This it's very very strange logic, but it's it's. It's extremely clever because, I mean, I've done quite a lot of region sum lines before, uh, region sum lines puzzles, and this, this feels different somehow. Um, yeah, so we've worked out the total of blue, which is the same as the total of grey, which is 28. So this is, this, this is a 28 sep septuple, uh, which means these squares are up to 17 by the secret, so they've got to be an 8-9 pair. Now, whatever that digit is, yeah, okay, so now we can run some logic down on the 8s and 9s. This square, whatever that is, must be in that domino. And therefore it must be here, by Sudoku. So this and this are the same. There's one in here. Yeah, okay, and whatever's... It, in this triple now must be in that domino and must be there I don't know if that's I don't know if that's actually doing anything um, I don't know <laughs> I don't know sorry um, Goodness me, this is still very, this is still very difficult, actually. Uh, so maybe, maybe this domino is where there's pressure. Because this has a maximum size now of 6, 7, doesn't it? 13, which means this has a maximum size of 13 but we know that those four cells add up to 28 so this domino adds up to at least 15 and we can very nearly conclude there has to be a 9 in here but not quite because it could be 8 7 if this was 8 7 this would be 9 4 
and that would be a nine. That would actually fix everything as well, because then this couldn't have four in it. So there is there's something going on with this domino and this domino, and the, and then how that, that ricochets around the dominoes. Um, but but it does seem to work. Yeah, this domino is I. If that's not thirteen, let's say I think this could be eleven. I might be wrong about that. Let me just double check that. If that's eleven, this is eleven. That's no, that doesn't work. Eleven's too small, because that would cause this to have to be seventeen, and that's going to break that square. So this is thirteen or twelve. If it's tw let's just check twelve works. If that's twelve, that's twelve. This is 16, which means it's 7, 9, and it works, doesn't it? Yeah, it does work. 7, 9, 4, 8. That becomes an 8 in that example. Ah, bobbins. Okay. Um, what about that domino, then? That domino, or maybe this domino, even. There's loads of dominoes, but I can't work out which is the one that's under pressure. If this domino, if this is a 6, yeah, these add up to 6. If this is a seven, these add up to seven. But we know that this is either one, two, three, or one, two, four. So what are the, what's this domino then? Yeah, it depends what this is, doesn't it? Because we know we know this adds up to seventeen. So if this is a seven. This adds up to 10. Oh, that something is like itching me about that, that that doesn't work. Why does my brain think that doesn't work? That's a seven. That's one, two, four. How does that domino get formed? That's what I'm trying to work out in my brain. And my brain is being very recalcitrant today. Um, let me think about this. Come on, Simon, stop being slow. If that's seven, these add up to seven. These add up to 10, but they have to be, they can't use one, two, and four. So they have to use three, seven into this domino. And you'd know the order. So that would be seven, that would be three. Oh no, that's beautiful. Right, okay, that doesn't work. This can't be seven. Because then these we get the, the um redebigulator problem again. If that's seven. Ah, uh, it's really yeah, it's obvious actually, but I just didn't see it this, this way. If the, if this is a seven, the point is that it immediately puts four in one of those squares. So how do we make up the constituents of our blue and grey tetrominoes then? And, and the point is that that both of these tetrominoes have to now be eight, nine, five, six, which you can't do in this column. Yeah, if this is seven. We know that 7 uh, is not in this tetromino, which adds up to 28, so it's 8, 9, 5, 6. But if this is 7, we know 4 is not in this tetromino, so this is also 8, 9, 5, 6. And these squares are all selected from a quadruple of digits, even though they are a quintuple, and that is not going to work. So that is 6. And if that's 6, this is where we're going to learn that this is 1, 2, 3 which is going to be very useful probably. Well, now we do know what this, this quadruple is. This quadruple is four, seven, eight, nine. And we know it must be different from this one, which must therefore be five, six, eight, nine. Otherwise we have the quintupular problem. So this is a four, seven pair by our old friend well, so <laughs> I'm not sure which old friend we could describe this as being due to, but this is certainly true now. Ah, and that six 
looks at this domino which adds up to six and doesn't involve a four so that's a one five pair which means this is not a one which means one is vertical in column five I have got a digit now which feels like some sort of progress these squares add up to 11 so they're one two three and five that's not one um, now what does that mean <laughs> what about these this domino that domino adds up to 11 and it doesn't use four, seven or five, six. So this is either two, nine or three, eight. And there's a virtual two, three pair between those three squares because there's a two or a three here and the other one must be in this domino. Okay, so these squares are, there must be a six in one of them, I think. They're six, eight and nine one of them is a six now what can we do next we could do oh, now do we know whether this is gray or blue now given we now know that this is four seven eight nine so if that was four seven eight nine all of those would be four seven eight nine i don't know <laughs> Oh, um, we could, we might be about to get a visit from a little person as well. I'm not sure. Let's, let's, let's hope not because I'm, I'm finding this puzzle quite difficult. Um, can we go back to that domino now do we know more than we did before we knew that added up to 12 or 13 did yeah there you go okay so now that domino can't add up to 12 look because i don't see a way of picking two numbers from these these options oh i don't have to use no sorry no that that is right yeah i can't pick two numbers from these options to add up to 12 it's impossible so this must add up to 13 which means it's six seven now these, yeah, how do you make this domino add up to 13? You've got to pick the 5 and you've got to pick the 8. It's the only way it will work. So this is 5, 8. This is not 5, 8. This is 6, 9, and that gets me more digits. So I get 8, 9, 8 down here, 4, 7, 9, triple. Um, oh yeah, look, watch this. There's a six on this line, which actually is not at the top, but but we know it adds up to 13. So the other three digits must be a one, two, four, triple. It's the only way of making seven in three different numbers. So we, we've got this going on. Hang on, let me put six in. A six comes out of there, six comes out of there. Six is definitely in this domino. Um, now we know what those three digits are. Aren't they're two, three, no, they're not. They're three, five, and seven which is probably restricted in some way I can't immediately see. 3, 5 and 7 add up to 15. So this domino adds up to 15, um, which is either 6, 9 or 7, 8 then. This domino adds up to 8. And that is, right, that's 3, 5, because it can't be 6, 2 or 7, 1. So that's 3, 5. 1, 2 and 4 have to go into, and we're not going to get any 3's in the corner, at least not up there. And, okay, and now we need to think again about what on earth is going on in the rest of this. How do we, fi how do we figure out, how are we going to break out or break, get some digits in this, these central three columns? Do we now know enough to fill in some numbers? We almost certainly do. I just can't see how to do it. Okay, this is 479, so I can put 4 in there. And that gets me a 126 triple here, which gets me... Yeah, here we go. There's a 3. There's now a 2 in this domino, so that becomes 3 or 5. There's a four here, so this becomes four, that becomes seven. 
There's a seven in this domino. Three five pair in the central column. One two pair in the central column. Yeah, <laughs> I, ne I never see black digits in these puzzles. I get them so rarely. I never use them. Look, that's that's doing something. That's a seven. That's a six. Oh, this is big. That's actually a big deduction in the most in the most cruel way. Cause it makes me look stupid. But look, seven can't go in this little two by two anymore, which we know adds up to 28. So we now know that this is eight, nine, five, six, which hasn't got an eight in those squares or a six in these squares. Um, now, what does that mean? Don't know. Okay, we probably have to be a bit careful though with what that digit is. Because it, we have to be capable of making this domino add up to this domino. So if that's a 4, for example, I don't see a way of making those two digits add up to 12. So that's definitely not a 4. If that's a set, well, hang on, no, that's definitely not a nine, is it? Because if that's eight, nine, that that would have to be eight, nine as well. And that will break all sorts of rules of Sudoku. So that's a seven. And hopefully these dominoes can be made to work. Fifteen. Yeah, that's that can be done with six, nine. So that's lovely. Um, which means this is five, eight now, although it's not Sudoku resolved. Five, eight and four, nine do add up to the same number. So that's all good. OK. And all right, so now we must do something in the bottom row, don't we? Because I must know what those three add up to because they add up to 11. So that's 11 plus 30 is 41. So these two squares add up to four by the secret, which means they are a one three pair. And therefore we can put those in. Which is nearly good, but unfortunately not good enough. So these squares are 2, 4 and 5 by Sudoku now. And 5 here means this is 3. So this is 1. This is now a 2, 5 pair, which means we get the 5 in column 5. We get a 3, 7 pair here. A 1 here. And a, th and a 3 in the corner. That's three in the corner. That's three in the spotlight. Losing its religion. Um, oh, that makes me feel better. Okay, so what does... Ah, look. That can't be three eight anymore. So that's two nine. So this isn't nine. That's not nine. We get a six eight pair on the wings of row six. And probably sometime soon oh there's a seven up in one of those squares we're going to have to think about either this line or this line aren't we which um, is that an appetizing prospect which of these lines is going to be more restricted no clue although hang on there is a six on this one and no seven Does that matter? Do we know anything about big digits along these lines? Very little, I think. Eight and nine. It looks to me like eights and nines can go on that line, at least. Not sure about this one. Nine, a nine can't go on that one. Uh, yeah, okay, let's think about that. Because we've, this five cell sequence here has had a lot of low digits removed as possibilities from it. So this has got to add up to an absolute minimum of six, seven, eight, one, three, doesn't it? That would be the least it could be, which I think is 25. 6, 7, 8 is 21, 1 and 3 is 4, so 25 is the minimum. All right, 25 is the minimum for these squares. Well, the maximum for these squares is 26, because you can't put a 9 on them. And I know that 8, 7, 6 and 5 add up to 26. There's Maverick uh, taking off to come and buzz past me, as usual. Oh, do you have to have a 7 on this sequence, then? You didn't have a 7. 8, 6, 5, 4 is not nearly enough, is it? Uh, it's 23. And what did I say this had to be? At least 25. 
Yeah, so this, there is a 7, so that's not 7. Um, yeah, so this, this, this is either, it's definitely got 8 on it, it's definitely got 7 on it, I think it's got 6 on it, uh, it does have 6 on it, and then it's got, its last digit is either 5 or 4. And that might be the tricky bit, because I don't see how we're going to know the answer to that. And we have to keep this as low as we possibly can. Yeah, okay, so the maximum value of this is 26, which means 26 plus 11 is 37. That would make this an 8, at an absolute best case. But if this was 25, we get 36, that would be a 9. So this is 8 or 9, which is not doing anything. Bother. Okay, so where's 3 in column 9? I think there's only one place it can go. It can't go up there because there's a 3, 5 pair. It can't go on this line. Because we know this line is 876 plus, plus 5 or 4. So it's in this box somewhere. And it doesn't seem to be able to be there. So it's here. But I bet that does nothing. I bet that does nothing. Um, mm. <laughs> ah, you rotten puzzle. Um... Hmm, okay. This is tricky, actually. I think I'm missing a trick again. I think we've reverted to bad Simon. Oh, 5-8. That's, that's bad Simon not doing Sudoku. 5 and 2 go in there. So 2 is up here somewhere. Can we resolve this 4-9 or this 5-8 or this 6-9 or this 1-2 or that 3-7? I must, I must, I feel like this might be resolved. This is a domino that adds to 15. So it's either 6, 9 or 7, 8. I don't see it. Um, 7 is, is in a domino in box 7. No, still not getting it. Let me think. 8 is in this domino. Can we align anything? <laughs> I don't know what to do. Um, what? Okay, so what are the numbers that I need to put in those three squares? How are we going to do that? Those numbers are... They've definitely got 1 and 3 in them, haven't they? Because we can't put 1 and 3 on this side. It's 1, 3. At, they've definitely got 1 and 3. But it's 1, 3 and then 4 or 5. Whatever's not used on this line. Ah, okay. So that can't be a 1. Because it's the sum of two numbers. So there's a 1 here. So there's a 1 here. And a 2 here. And a 2 here. So there's a 2 over there somewhere. Now, we can probably get rid of more things from this. So that can't be 4. 4 doesn't work because that would be a 1-3 pair and that will break up here. So that's not 4. If it's 5, you can't put 2-3 on the line. So it's 1-4. If 5 goes with 1-4, there's definitely a 1 on this line because it's either 5 with a 1-4 pair or it's 3 with a 1-2 pair, either of which has a 1 on it. There's a 1-2-4 triple in this box. The 1 is definitely here. So the, okay, so there's another weird thing here, which is that these two squares, those two there, they add up to 15. Because we know these add up to 15, the four digits together add up to 30. So those two red ones also add up to 15. God, it's near, it looks like there's nearly a triple going on in row three now. Um, we know, no, we don't. Ah, sorry. Um, I 
I realise I've just stopped talking is because I don't. What's going on? It's a. This is a. It's just a fascinating puzzle, but it's it's quite tricky. How long have I had? Forty five minutes. Okay, that's not quite as bad as I suspected it might be. I feel there's been a few pauses where I just haven't haven't had a clue what to do. Um, what could it be now? It's probably some Sudoku in these rows that I'm just not seeing. What about these six, eight wings? Can we do something with those? Um, or is it going to be... I don't know. I really have really don't know. Or could it be... Five? Okay, five is on this line. Is that somehow relevant? The maximum size of these three digits is not involved is 23, isn't it? OK, well, that's a tiny that's an eight or a nine. It's a tiny deduction for you. Um, and that, the way I've got that, I hope this is right, is what I did was I said, OK, well, this is 23 maximum. And this line we know has five on it. So if it had eight and nine on it and five, that would be 22. And um, the other two digits would have to add up to a maximum of one, which is not going to work. So we've got to force an eight and a nine off this line into this square. And that means... Nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Um, goodness me, what is going on in this puzzle? Um... I don't know. I think it might be this line because this line I've thought about a lot. Let's just think about this line then. So we know those squares are equal to these squares. Let's use what color could we have for that? Light green. That's quite nice actually, the dark green and the light green. Hmm. OK, so one thing I can see there is that those two squares add up to those three squares. And that's because um, the sort of sevens cancel and the sixes cancel, if you see what I mean. So if, you, if we take this box as a, as, a, as a total, we know the dark green equals the light green. So we can cancel them out, cancel the two sevens out, cancel the six with the one five out. And we know that what's left, which is those two, must equal those two. But that's not actually, doesn't look very restrictive, to be honest. Um, unless there is... Well, actually, let me just think about that for a moment or two. The minimum... Well, there's no one in those squares, is there? So these add up to nine at least, which would, if that was nine, if that was two, three, four, that would be an eight, one pair. Uh, oh no, okay, no, I thought I had something there. Where does nine go in this box? And it can't go in this little triple anymore, I don't think. Because if it does go in this little triple, um, the minimum sum of this triple is 14. Because it's 9 plus a 2, 3 pair. And I don't think we can make those squares add up to 14. And 13 seems to be the max. So 9 is in this domino. And I thought that was going to be great when I spotted that there was a 6, 9 pair there. But it's not. All that's really telling us is that nine in this row is in this domino, and we already knew that. Well, we, it was telling us it was in that triomino, but it's not here, so it's not actually advanced us at all. Oh, five. Oh, five. There, sorry, sorry. Look, we can place five in this box. There's a five domino here, there's a five domino there. So where does the five go in column one? It's got to be in one of these three squares. 
but we've already worked out it's in one of those three squares and the only square that meets both of those criteria is that one. So that might do something. Or it might not. Nine is in this domino. Do oh if that was if that was nine, that would be nine, wouldn't it? This would be a seven eight pair, that would be a six, that would be a six. Gosh, I mean a lot of things would get resolved. A lot of things would get resolved. Can we now No, I don't know actually. Oh, Simon, come on, use your brain. Ah, there's something. Three is in this little, this funny little thing here that adds up to those two has got three in it. That feels like it might matter. So if that's... Mm, actually, that's not very good. I was wondering about 8, 1 again, but we know if that's 8, 1, this has to be 2, 3, 4. And I actually, I actually think that almost looks likely. How do we, how do we work out there's a 4 in here? There's a 4 in here if that's a 4. If that's a 4, there's a 4 in here. Which means that the other two digits in here have to add up to whatever we make that digit. Ugh, this is complicated. So that couldn't be 8. If that's a 4, I don't think this can be 8. I might be wrong about that. But the way I got that... Was, was by thinking about how we could make a domino in here add up to 8. 1, 7 isn't working. 3, 5 doesn't work. And 2, 6 doesn't work. So actually, if that's a 4, that has to be a 9. But I think... Hang on, and then these are adding up to... No, that doesn't work. Ah, that's not 4. That's not 4, I've worked out, I think. Which is great, I'm going to get a 4 in the corner. Okay, that's not, that's not worth singing over, but it's interesting. Okay, I'm just going to go through the logic here again, just to make sure I think it's correct. So what we've worked out is that those two squares add up to these three squares. So if this is four, four is in these three squares by Sudoku. So they cancel. So the other two digits, let's say it was there. So this, these two digits then would have to add up to whatever we put in there. So we've got two choices, eight or nine. If we put eight in, one seven doesn't work, two six doesn't work, three five doesn't work, so it's not eight. If we put nine in, um, Oh, no, I've done... I did my maths wrong, but it still doesn't work. I think I did my maths wrong. I think I was trying to get to 10 before. That's fine. It doesn't. It still doesn't work. You've got 4 and 3 in here. But the 3 has to be combined with something to get us to 9, which is 6, isn't it? And that doesn't work, because 6 can't go into these three squares. 13... Yeah, so it's, it's impossible. Right, so this is not four in the corner. And then I get a one, two pair in the top row. So I get a four in the other corner. I, oh, look at this. This is going to go now. Because I can't get a one, two pair here, which means this is three. Which means that's three by Sudoku. This is, oh, whoopsie, whoopsie. This is not three in any manner nor means. Uh, three, three, this is three, this is five, this isn't five anymore, this isn't five anymore. Come on now, don't stop there. That's not going to work for us. We, you need to go, we need more, more. <laughs> no, we do, we, do we, we need more than that, I think. That's not four in that, that corner. Oh dear. Uh, no, this isn't. This isn't done enough. Okay, let's come back over here. Then. <laughs> how how else are we meant to view this? Um, 
what did I think? I thought it was going to be one and eight, didn't I? Oh, actually, let's try two there. Because if we try two there, you can see that the interesting thing about that is that's going to plonk two into this, this triomino again. So, we get, so they're going to cancel out. And again, we're going to be left with the challenge of making the other two digits add up to whatever we put there. So if that's two, um, let's see if eight can work. So eight, it doesn't work immediately. Because again, we need two do dominant digits involving a th we need a three five pair. Um, and that doesn't work because of this. So, but if that's nine, then we need a three six pair and that doesn't work either. So this really doesn't work. So in fact, that's a one we've just, we've just discovered. So that's one, that's therefore, I hope one works, otherwise there's a big problem. We can, the problem with one is that the one, one doesn't get pushed into that triomino by Sudoku, so it's not gonna be as useful, I suspect. Um, right, what about one in this box? It seems to have to be in there. So one is on this line. And what what else did we get from that? Nothing again. Oh, Bobbin's Bobbin's face this is so annoying. Okay, let's try a one eight works. Let's try one nine. Does one nine work? So this is ten. So these have to add up to ten. No, that doesn't. Oh, that's never worked. Oh, Bobbin's. I think I've looked at this all wrong. Because there's no way this could ever have been a one nine pair. Because one five here immediately rules it out. How do you make the th three different digits add up to a number as low as ten? Uh, well, you can try. To, well, and the number of ten, two three four works for nine, but but two three six etc. They do not work. They add up to too many. So there is no way this can be a nine because there's no way we can make this this triple add up to ten. Another way of thinking about that is. How do you make 10 without in three cells without using a one? You have to use two, three, five, and the five isn't available. So this is eight, apparently. Now, hopefully that will do something. Well, that does do something, doesn't it? Because now we know these have to add up to nine without using one. So we do know for sure this is a two, four pair. I suspect there's been a much simpler way of doing that, but I, I didn't see what it was. Um... Wow, that even, oh no, this is, this is doing stuff. That's doing, this is doing more. Eight, five here. So this is five, one. This is one now by Sudoku. That's not eight. Now remember these two added up to 15. So that's now not seven. We know what this little congregation is in total. So we know these are six, eight, nine. Now does that, okay, that one's not nine. <laughs> we already knew that, <laughs> bother. Um, all right, what about those squares? They're two, four, and seven, are they? I don't know, what's going on? Why can't this fill in? Do four, seven down here, that's not two. That's not seven. Good grief. It's still being, it's still being recalcitrant. That square is a two or a four. Oh, is that nine pencil mark reasonable? Oh yeah, where does nine go in box one? It does have to go there apparently. Oh, that's, well, that's huge because now I know that domino has to be a seven, eight pair, which is going to do something at least. This other domino is now a six, or not domino, but those two squares are a six, nine pair, which we can do. So that's nine, that's six. We worked out that line had to have six on it so that we can now place, that place is eight, six. We get an eight, nine pair, which is going to all be resolved. Good grief. This is very, very nice, this puzzle. Not easy, in my opinion. I'm going to be interested in the comments. That's a seven by Sudoku. Um, this is now four or five. So, oh, it's not four. So that's five after all that. This becomes a one, four pair. We're going to be able to work out this digit by maths if, if Sudoku doesn't give it to us. But it, Sudoku has given it to us. Okay, thank you, Sudoku. You're very kind on rare occasions um all right so what's this done we've now got two three and four into these squares and that's not four 
that that six is doing something. One and six can go in. Three and seven can go in. Two, four, three, two, four, come on. Four, seven, two, four, nine. Goody, goody, goody. Now that square seems to have to be seven now. And okay, what's go that's a four by Sudoku. The two five is resolved. So the two one gets resolved. The four one gets resolved. The one goes in there. And in this box, we've not put in nine and six, which is going to be lovely, isn't it? That's going to work. Nine and six go in. And I think, yes. <laughs> wow, that was hard. It's taken me an hour. Wow, that was really, really interesting and odd. Um, it worked in a, maybe that's why it's called vice versa. It worked in a very peculiar way for a region sum lines puzzle. You sort of had to, the normal way is you look for really, really disparate line segment lengths here. Well, you sort of, we've sort of doing the same thing, but by combining line segment lengths, but then yeah, and then you sort of had to, or at least I had to work out, it was all about column four and how we make these digits, how we didn't have a redebigulator in column four, which was most peculiar. And then there was all sorts of jiggery pokery going on over here, and then jiggery pokery going on over here. These these weird lines, which had very interesting properties, but it was quite difficult for me to navigate exactly, or to navigate a clear way through them quickly. But I think we did it logically in the end. Brilliant puzzle, of course, from Mr. Menace. What we wouldn't expect anything else. Thank you very much for watching and spending some of your Friday with me. And we'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.